Do you wonder why your English is not fluent? Maybe you've been practicing English for many years and you feel like you never get to feel fluent. First, you might be right. <laughs> it really is difficult to be fluent, especially if you're living in a country that doesn't use English as its language. And it makes it even more difficult. But even if you are living in an English-speaking country, it's still incredibly difficult to be a non-native English speaker and become fluent. One of my clients recently said that the longer they focus on their English-speaking practice, the more they understand that fluent English is close to impossible. As my client said, English seemed easier before they knew so much. One big reason is that so many English words have more than one meaning. I did another video before about the word run and how run has 645 different meanings. Yes, one word, 645 different meanings. And you can find a copy of that video up here somewhere. And I <laughs> urge you to take a look at it. The more you become curious about English, the more you start to understand that there are real reasons why your English is not fluent. Did you realize that in Mandarin Chinese, about 10 to 15 percent of the vocabulary words have more than one meaning? And if we compare that to Korea, the numbers are the same. About In Korea, it's about 10 to 20% of the vocabulary words have more than one meaning. In Spanish, it increases to 25 to 30% of the vocabulary can have more than one meaning. And in English, it's 40 to 50% of the vocabulary words have more than one meaning. And it makes it so incredibly difficult to become fluent in English. I'm Grant. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a business English confidence coach. I'm here to help you become confident in your English speaking. As I said many times, I'm not a teacher. I look at things a very different way. I know business. I've only worked in business. I have never worked as a teacher, but I do understand how to coach people just like you to become confident using English. I want you to become confident so that whatever dream you have, English could be the answer to that dream where you can talk to anyone in the world. You can do anything you want to do. and You can have the confidence to change your life. That is what my mission is. In this edition of my Confident Future podcast, I'm going to dive into five very common words that have so many different meanings, and will make your head spin. <laughs> I need to tell you that all of these meanings are commonly used. This isn't just a silly little entertainment video. I'll go through each of these five words one by one. And I'll explain each meaning, and I'll give you some easy example sentences. This will help you understand English better and feel more confident when you're speaking. You know how much I believe in my deep learning method. And that's all part of this, is to be able to use the deep learning method to become confident using these words. And by the end of this video, you'll see how knowing these different meanings can really improve your English. I think, in fact, I know you'll be surprised at how much you can say with just a few words. So are you ready to learn? Let's get started with this crazy list of words. The words are going to be right, left, light, lead, or maybe lead, and point. Those are our five words. Let's see how many different definitions we can go through. Let's begin. 
with the word right. And right, you'll be surprised how many different ways you can use right. Right can mean correct or true, accurate or free from error. Example sentences could be, the answer to the math problem was right. She made the right decision by investing in the project. Right can also mean morally just or fair, where you're acting in accordance with moral or ethical standards. Here are some example sentences to make that more clear. He always tries to do what is right, even when it's difficult. It was right to help the client resolve the issue. Now, when I go through these, I want you to use this as part of your English speaking practice. Shadow me. I say these sentences. I say the word. I say the definition. I say the sentences. Say it with me. Use these videos. Because the more you say these things out loud, the more you'll feel them, the more my deep learning method will really help you. Okay, let's get back. It's more definitions of right. Right also means opposite of left. <laughs> like, as, like in a direction. And some example sentences could be, turn right at the next corner. The office is on the right side of the hallway. Hallway means corridor for many of you. Right can also mean proper or appropriate, something that's suitable for a particular situation. And here's some example sentences. This is the right tool for the job. She found the right approach to address the client's concerns. Right can also mean in a good state or condition, functioning well or in order. Here are some example sentences. Is everything all right with the system? He checked the documents to ensure everything was right. Right can also mean politically conservative, <laughs> referring to conservative or traditional values. He supports right-wing policies, favoring lower taxes, Candidate appealed to voters on the political right. Right also means legal or moral entitlement, a justified claim by law or ethics. Here are some example sentences to make that more clear. Everyone has the right to speak freely. She fought for her right to equal pay at the company. Right can also mean the side opposite to left. Direction, side, opposite to left. Hold the pen in your right hand. The restaurant is on the right as you walk down the street. Right? can also mean correctness or accuracy, the state of being correct or true. Here are some example sentences explaining that. He is in the right regarding the company's policies. The customer insisted that they were in the right about the billing issue. You can also use right for a privilege or permission a specific allowance or authorization, and here are some example sentences showing that. You have the right to access this document as part of your role. The employees have the right to work remotely one day a week. Right can also mean to correct, to make something accurate or true. This one might confuse you. He worked to write the mistake in the report. 
She righted the misunderstanding by explaining the details clearly. Right also means to restore an upright position, to bring something back to its proper position. Here are some example sentences. He righted the chair after it tipped over during the meeting. The ship was righted after being caught in rough waters. Right can also mean exact or precise, directly or precisely in terms of location or time. Here are some example sentences. He arrived right on time for the meeting. The document is right in front of you on the desk. Right can also mean completely or thoroughly, fully or completely correct or proper. Here are some example sentences. He got it right the first time with no mistakes. She explained the process right down to the last detail. That one be different for you. Right can also mean in accordance with law or rule, conforming to laws or regulations. Here are some example sentences that explain that. You're in the right according to company policy. It's your right under the law to request a refund. Finally, right can also mean as an obligation or duty, a responsibility or duty to act correctly. And here are some example sentences. It's your right to report any safety issues to management. He felt it was his right to take responsibility for the mistake. So there are a whole bunch of different ways to use the word right. Some of them are similar, but many of them are a little bit different. So take your time going through those, become comfortable with them. Okay. So we went through a whole bunch of different definitions for right. Now, let's take a look at left. And these aren't all of the definitions by any means. It's just a lot of definitions for each of these words. So many of these that you'll see as I go through on left, you could use the opposite for right. Let's take a look at some different ways that you could use the word left. <laughs> Many of these I think you will not know. Some of them you would think would be very normal. You could use the word left to mean the opposite of right or a direction. Here are some example sentences. Turn left at the next intersection to reach the office. The restaurant is on the left side of the street. Another way to use the word left is a political orientation. And here are some example sentences. She identifies with the left-wing party in her country. The debate was between the candidate from the right and the left. You can use the word left to mean the left side of something. Here are some example sentences discussing that. He is sitting on the left side of the table. The painting on the left is my favorite. You can use the word left for left-hand side in sports. And here are some example sentences explaining that. He plays on the left wing on the soccer team. The player on the left side passed the ball to his teammate. You can use the word left to mean to depart or go away. And here are some example sentences explaining that. She left the meeting early to attend another meeting. They left the restaurant after finishing their meal. You can use the word left to mean to remain behind. <laughs> here are some example sentences explaining that. He left his phone on the table when he went to work. 
she left her jacket at the office and I had to go back to get it. You can use the word left to mean to abandon something, a person or a place. Here are some example sentences explaining that. He left his job to start his own business. She left her old house and moved to a new city. You can use the word left to mean to let someone or something remain. Here are some example sentences explaining that. She left the door open so the delivery could be made. He left the window unlocked by mistake. You can use the word left to mean to cause to remain in a particular condition. And here are some example sentences explaining that. The storm left the city flooded and damaged. His comments left the team confused about the next steps. And you can use the word left for left-handed. And here are some example sentences. He's left-handed and prefers using his left hand to write. The left-handed pitcher was a key player on the team. So there are a number of different ways to use the word left. And you can see how some of them are related to right. Some of them have nothing to do with right. And some of these are similar to others within each of these categories. But I want to give you a full feeling or understanding of all the different ways you can use left. Again, I want you to say all of these things out loud because the way you normally use a word like left is one or two different ways. And you wouldn't use it in many of these. Yes, you understand what many of these mean, but I want to help you become confident and fluent and that means these words need to come out of your mouth. Are you ready to move on? Let's see what we find with all the different definitions with the word light. So many different ways to use the word light. You can use light for something that makes things visible, natural, or artificial. And here are some example sentences showing this. We need to turn on the light to read the documents. The light from the window made the room feel warm. You can use the word light to mean the natural brightness from the sun or some other source. Here are some example sentences describing that. The light coming through the blinds was bright this morning. We have a lot of natural light in our conference room. You can use the word light to mean a source of illumination, like a lamp or a light bulb. The light in the meeting room was flickering. We should change the bulb. Make sure you buy a strong reading light for your desk. You can use the word light to mean understanding or clarity, as in shedding light on something. Here are some example sentences describing this great use of light. The report helped shed light on the reasons for the delay. Can you... Provide more information to bring light on this issue. You can also use the word light to mean not heavy in terms of weight. This laptop is very light and easy to carry. She prefers a light briefcase when traveling for business. You can use the word light to mean not serious or intense. Here are some example sentences explaining this. Let's keep the discussion light during the lunch break. The boss introduced the topic with a light tone, making everyone relax. 
You can use the word light to mean a pale color. What do I mean by a pale color? Well, here are some example sentences. She painted the office in a light blue to make it feel more spacious. The new company logo uses a light shade of green. You can use the word light to mean a spark or a flame. Here are some example sentences <laughs> explaining this. He used a match to light the candle during the presentation. They lit the fire to stay warm at the company retreat. Past tense of light is lit. Crazy English. You can use the word light to mean to make something burn. They lit a small fire to celebrate the product launch. She lit the barbecue for the company picnic. You can use the word light to mean to become brighter or more visible. The screen lit up as soon as he turned on the computer. The CEO's face lit up when he heard the good news. You can also use the word light to mean to bring attention to something. Here are some example sentences explaining that. His report lit up the importance of improving communication in the company. This email lit up a key issue with our supply chain. You can use the word light to mean to make something brighter or more cheerful. The new office decor really lit up the space. His positive attitude lit up the room during the brainstorming session. You can use the word light to mean free from worry or burden. Here are some example sentences describing that. After the project ended successfully, the team felt light and relieved. He took a light approach to the issue, which eased the tension. You can use the word light to mean quick or gentle in movement. Here's some example sentences showing how you can use that. He took light steps as he entered the meeting, not wanting to disturb anyone. The dancer's movements were light and graceful. You can use the word light to mean not substantial in content, as in light reading. Here's some example sentences that show this. The boss recommended some light reading for the weekend. We finished the day with some light discussion after a long meeting. You can use the word light to mean energy or electricity, as in turning the lights on. <laughs> I don't know that you need example sentences, but here they are. Could you turn on the light so we can see the documents? The power went out and all the lights in the office turned off. And finally, you can use the word light to mean a person who inspires others or brings joy. And here are some example sentences showing this. She has always been a light for the team, guiding us through tough times. The manager is the light of our department, always encouraging new ideas. There are a lot of different definitions. Using the word light, we thought light <laughs> would be a pretty simple word, right? I think there's lots of them in there that you probably don't use. If you learn how to use those, say them out loud, you'll make a big, big improvement in your <laughs> opportunity to become fluent using English. You'll build your confidence. Give it a try. Say all those out loud with me. It really matters. Next, let's move on to the next word that is a little bit confusing. 
because it was lead. Or is it lead? Let's see. All right. Let's look at lead. So lead has all kinds of different definitions here, and I'm going to share many of them with you. This is one way to use the word lead. It means to guide. Here are some example sentences. He will lead the team through the project step by step. The manager leads the new employees around the office on their first day. Here's another way to use the word lead, to be in charge. It, here are some example sentences using this. She leads the marketing department and makes all the key decisions. The CEO leads the company with a focus on growth and innovation. You can use the word lead this way. It means to be ahead. And here's some example sentences showing how to use this. Our company is leading this competition in customer satisfaction. He was leading the race by several minutes before slowing down. You can also use the word lead to mean to result in something. And here are some example sentences showing this. Poor communication can lead to misunderstandings in the workplace. Strong leadership often leads to higher employee morale. You can also use lead to mean to live in a certain way. He leads a quiet life in the countryside after retirement. She leads a busy lifestyle, balancing work and family. You can also use lead to mean to initiate an action. Here's some example sentences showing this. He led the discussion by asking key questions to the group. She led the initiative to improve employee engagement. Here's another way to use the word lead. It can mean to influence. And here's some example sentences showing how to do that. His speech led the audience to believe in his vision for the future. Her leadership style led the team to work more effectively together. You can also use the word lead to mean a position of advantage. Let me show you with some example sentences. Our company holds the lead in market share for our industry. They took the lead early in the negotiations. You can also use the word lead to mean a clue or a tip. Let me show you with some example sentences. The detective followed a promising lead that helped solve the case. The sales team received a new lead from the conference they attended. Here's another way to use the word lead, and it could mean a primary role in something. Here are some example sentences showing this. She played the lead role in the company's advertising campaign. The lead actor gave an impressive performance in the new movie. Another way to use the word lead is this way. It can mean a leash. <laughs> Let me explain with some example sentences. She put the dog on a lead before taking it for a walk. The lead kept the dog from running too far ahead during their stroll. Here's another way to use the word lead. It could mean an electrical connection. Let me show you some example sentences using it this way. The electrician checked the lead connecting the machine to the power supply. The lead was damaged, so the device didn't work properly. Here's another way to use the word lead. 
Well, it's L-E-A-D, but in this case, the pronunciation changes to lead. Why? Because English is crazy and impossible. Let me give you some example sentences. <laughs> Using lead, which means the graphite in pencils. <laughs> the, the pencil lead broke, so she had to sharpen it. He prefers pencils with softer lead for sketching. Here's another way to use the word lead. I mean, lead. Same spelling, but different pronunciation. So here, lead means heavy metal element. Here's some example sentences using this. Lead is often used in batteries due to its ability to conduct electricity. Lead pipes were replaced in older buildings to prevent health risks. You can use the word lead to mean starting position in a game or activity. Here are some example sentences showing how to use that. It's your lead in the card game. Please play your first move. She took the lead in the chess match by making a bold opening move. Here's another way to use the word lead. And it can mean a hint or direction in marketing or sales. Let me give you some example sentences showing this. The company received 50 new leads from the trade show. He followed up with a lead he received from a potential client. You can use the word lead to mean opening news story. Let me show you some example sentences. The lead story in the newspaper was about the new product launch. The lead in today's news was the company's merger with a competitor. <laughs> it's crazy. All the different ways you can use this simple four-letter word, lead. I mean, lead or lead. I don't know what it is. Is it lead? Is it lead? It just depends on the context. Who created English? They're crazy. I hope this gives you an idea of all the different ways in which you can use lead or lead. And it's actually, it's not anywhere near all the ways. I just wanted to give you a good sample of how you could use this. This is what makes speaking English fluently so incredibly impossible. But anyway, keep trying. <laughs> Let's move on. And we're going to go. And I'm going to point you in the right direction. Now, let's talk about the word point. <laughs> How many different crazy words you can use this word to point, right? I want to point that way. Well, that's certainly one of them. But there are many more. Let's take a look at why English is so crazy and fluency is so difficult. The word point can mean a sharp tip or end. And here are some example sentences showing this. Be careful with the point of the knife. It's very sharp. The pencil's point broke while she was writing. You can use the word point as a unit of measurement. And let me share some example sentences for you. She scored 20 points in the basketball game. Our team is leading by five points. You can use the word point to mean purpose or reason. <laughs> Let me give you some example sentences. What's the point of this meeting? The point of the exercise is to improve teamwork. You can use the word point to mean a specific location or spot. Here are some example sentences showing this. We reach the highest point of the mountain. The meeting point is in front of the building. You can use the word point to mean a moment in time. 
Let me show you some example sentences. At this point in the project, we need to focus on testing. The team was behind at that point, but they caught up quickly. The word point can be used to mean an argument or statement. Let me show you some example sentences, how you can use that. That's a good point you made about the budget. She raised an important point during the meeting. You can use the word point to mean a decimal notation in numbers. Let me share some example sentences that might help you understand. The number 3.14 has a decimal point. The price increased by 1.5 points. You can use the word point to mean an electrical connection. Let me share some example sentences. Plug the charger into the power point on the wall. The electrical point was not working, so the lamp wouldn't turn on. You can use the word point to mean focus of attention. Here are some example sentences showing how to do this. The speaker got straight to the point in her presentation. The point of this report is to highlight our successes. You can use the word point to mean a compass direction. Here are some example sentences showing this. The wind is blowing from a point west of north. The compass showed that we were heading toward a northern point. You can use the word point as a military term. And let me give you some example sentences doing this. He took point during the patrol through the forest. The soldiers rotated. Who would take point on the mission? You can use the word point to mean a level of intensity or degree. Let me show you some example sentences how you can use this. The water was boiling to the point of overflowing. He was frustrated to the point where he almost quit. You can use the word point to mean a small detail or feature. Let me show you with some example sentences. She raised a fine point in the contract that needed clarification. The lawyer focused on the small points in the agreement. You can use the word point to mean to indicate or direct attention. Here are some example sentences showing you what I mean. She pointed at the map to show us the way. He pointed to the screen during this presentation. You can also use the word point to mean to face or be directed toward something. Let me show you some example sentences. The arrow points north on the map. All the signs pointed to the conference room. You can use the word point to mean to aim or direct a weapon or a tool. <laughs> Let's show some example sentences how to do this. He pointed the gun at the target during the training session. She pointed the laser pointer at the chart during her presentation. You can use the word point to mean to raise a, a particular issue. Let me give you some example sentences showing this. She pointed out the inconsistencies in the data. He pointed to a mistake in the contract that needed correction. You can use the word point to mean to indicate direction in space. Here are some example sentences showing you this. The vector points toward the origin on the graph. In the diagram, the arrow points to the left side. You can use the word point to mean a point of view. Let me share some example sentences. From her point of view, the project was a success. His point of view on the matter differs from mine. You can use the word point 
in mathematics. And here are some example sentences showing this. In geometry, a point is represented by a dot, but has no size. The two lines intersect at a single point on the graph. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think it's crazy. <laughs> Why not make a word? and have one definition for that word. Why do you have to have all of these different crazy definitions for all of these words? I gave you five words with so many different definitions. And these are simple words, all words that you know, that you don't really know because English is impossible. So this journey towards English fluency is incredibly difficult. It's so difficult. Take a moment, share your comments about what you think about trying to become fluent in English. Try to dedicate this podcast toward just giving you an idea how difficult it is to become really fluent in English. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you have a great day. I'm sure I've given you a giant headache. You're welcome. <laughs> Talk to you later. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.